Hey friends, welcome back to my channel and today we're going to be doing something a little bit different. We're not going to be reading a book, we're moving into a science experiment today and I'm probably going to be doing a little bit each week but today we're going to be making this. We have a lava lamp. So I want to talk a little bit about what is involved with this here. What's going on? We have a giant green glass that's fizzing and bubbling, don't we? You guys know why it's bubbling and fizzing like this? It's because we have our Alka-Seltzer tablets, which are reacting to the water, which you can see right here. Now, on the very top, we have vegetable oil. I'm going to go over these ingredients <clears throat> so you can tell your mommy and daddy what you need. And then I will move into the lesson okay so what you're gonna need first is your vegetable oil or any oil that you have on the shelf next you're gonna need Alka-Seltzer tablets after the Alka-Seltzer <clears throat> we have assorted food coloring and of course we have water and our jar or cup or Gatorade bottle or whatever else that can hold a liquid in it now, <clears throat> all these things you can find at the Dollar Tree. Sorry, I got a little bit of a, a frog in my throat over here. So let's use my coughing. But um, we're going to go over density. I know I'm going to explain it a little bit later in there, but density, when I say density, what do you think that means? If I say it's more dense, it means it's going to sink, right? If I say less dense, it means it's going to float. So more dense, you could say it's heavy. Less dense means it's light. And you're going to hear me refer to more dense or less dense later on in this video. So with that being said, I want you guys to gather all your ingredients. And I will see you in a second. Okay, bye guys. Okay, so now we're moving on to the activity portion of this one, right? I already explained what we needed in the beginning and I know this all these things can be found at the Dollar Tree. You can get a glass with some water. You don't even need to get this at the Dollar Tree so let's just move this aside. Now you can get your food coloring. I have red, green, blue, and yellow. Do you guys remember what those colors are? Do you remember from a lesson a while back we did about our primary colors? We have red, green, blue and yellow. So now we have Alka-Seltzer tablets too. This is one way to do it that I, I'm sure you guys are gonna have so much fun with. The other way is with vinegar and baking soda and oil which leads me to this one. We have our vegetable oil. Any oil will do. And we have our jar which you can pick up at the Dollar Tree. You can also use a water bottle, Gatorade bottle, whatever kind of bottle you need. And let's begin. So first thing we're going to do, ask your mommies and daddies, whoever's helping you, to get you some water. Roughly about one cup should do. But you can put in however much you want. If you want more water and less oil, that's okay. And as you can see, I'm putting that in the jar. Now, you got to choose which color you want. We can either color our water now or color our water later, but I think we'll do it now. Okay? I'm going to go with green because I think that'll be a fun color. So we're going to put however many drops you want in. We can do one, two, three, four. Doesn't that look cool? Look at all that bubbling up already. It looks like a little green cloud, doesn't it? I'm going to set my other colors to the side. You can also mix colors if you guys really want to. Now, we're going to add just about the equal amounts of vegetable oil. Now, I want you guys to see what happens here, okay? When I put the oil in, what do you think is going to happen? Do you think it's going to just mix or do you think it is going to sit on top of the water or below the water? Let's see. Let's let it settle and look what's happening. Look at that. Isn't that cool? <clears throat> now what's happening here 
is a thing called density. I want to tell you, you see this line right here that shows the dark green and then the yellow with the green on it? That's because the oil is denser or less dense than the water. Less dense meaning it's lighter than the water is. That's why it's floating. So if you go outside and look at the clouds when it's raining, the water comes through the clouds and falls down. So that's going to be your rain on the bottom of this right here. If you look at the oil, that's going to be our clouds. So when it rains, the water falls out of the clouds because it is more dense than the cloud is. So therefore, we have our water right here and the oil, and the oil floats on top of the water. So the next step that you're going to want to do is take your Al Alka-Seltzer tablets. We're going to open this up. And you can put however many you want in there. But I'm going to go ahead and start with just one tablet, okay? And what I'm going to do here is zoom in on it for you a little bit so you guys can see what happens, okay? Now, watch this. I'm going to break it up so that we can have more bubbles. See, I split it in half. Watch. Get ready. Now, as the Alka-Seltzer falls to the bottom, look at what's happening. Isn't that cool? That looks so awesome, doesn't it? So it's bubbling. And the Alka-Seltzer, what happens when it touches the water, it reacts with it and starts fizzing. So you're going to see the fizzy bubbles that you can see right here coming up. And it's going to cause it to fizz. And the more you put in, the more it's going to fizz. Now at this point, you can add different colors if you want to. And then you can see the little drops going down. So we're going to do one, two, three. You see that? They drop to the bottom. And it's going to start to bubble up and you have your own lava lamp. Look at all these right here. This is where I dropped the tablet and it's still fizzing. So these tablets will last you probably around 30 seconds to a minute depending on how many you put in. But the more you put in, the more it's going to bubble up and fizz. So let's go ahead and put one more in so you guys can see it, okay? So like I said, you can put a whole tablet in or you can break it in half. But I'm going to put the whole thing in and drop it. I put it in right there so you guys can see what's happening. The water is making it fizz up, starting right here. And it's bubbling up and you see all of these little droplets coming down. That's because the Alka-Seltzer tablet is making it fizz and push the bubbles to the top. So I want you guys to experiment and I would love to see your videos and pictures and everything else you have when we get back to class. And I plan to be doing this when we go back to class with you as well. And you can do this as many times as you want, just rinse out the bottle and just keep adding new colors and mix the colors experiment with all the colors or you can experiment with just plain water and olive oil or vegetable oil you don't even have to add a color so you can see what is happening it'll be yellow okay so I hope you guys have an amazing time an amazing day and keep on experimenting with this Okay guys, so with that being done, I hope you guys had so much fun making our um, our lava lamps today. And it's not going to glow like a real lava lamp. I'm sure some of you might have lava lamps or your brothers or sisters or parents might have some in their rooms when they sleep at night. But you have your very own one now and you can even see the little drops still going after we put the Alka-Seltzer tablets in it, right? That is so cool. I love this. And I hope you guys can get involved with science as much as I love doing this. And keep on pursuing it and try out many different colors. You can mix the colors. You can you you can put in the oil and the water and then put in the drops to watch the drops go down it. But <clears throat> the words we're going to go over one last time. What is density? Heavy or light, right? So we have... Less dense is what? You remember? I'm going to put less dense right here. It is light. 
What is dense? More dense. Heavy. That's right. Good job, guys. You guys got it. So with that being said, I hope you guys have an amazing night. Sorry for the late upload, but you can watch this over and over again no matter what time it is. And I just hope you have an amazing day. Bye, guys. I'll see you in the next video.